Hello student, today we are going to learn NCRT exercise problem. It's for class 12 physics book back problem. We are going to do the solution. It's a ninth chapter, third problem. The question from the ray optics we are going to discuss. Okay. Actually, the question is asked about the real depth and apparent depth. This problem is based on real depth and apparent depth. Okay. First, it's a, there are two cases. Is there? First, I will explain first case. Then I will go with the second case. Okay. Uh, we have container. <coughs> The height of the container is going to be 12.5 uh, centimeter. Okay. So 12.5 centimeter. So it is going to be a real depth, which is going to call 12.5 centimeter. Okay. So inside we used as a water. Okay. So now uh, it's going to be some coin is inside. We'll take it some coin is inside. Okay. We used fully as a water. Okay. It's a tank or container something. Okay. Now I used as a water. So the coin is going to be rise little bit. Okay. The coin is going to be rise little bit. So it is the coin will be here. Okay. That is called apparent depth. Okay. This depth, this depth we can take it as a apparent depth, which is given as a 9.4 centimeter. Okay. Now from outside, I'm using the microscope to look at this uh, value. Okay. Now we'll see what is a refractive index of this liquid. Okay. That's the first case. Okay. Second case, I'll explain. First case, refractive index of A to W, which is called water. Real depth by apparent depth. Okay. What is real depth? Real depth is going to be the actual uh, depth of the tank or uh, uh, it is going to be a container. Okay. So it is a tank only. It's going to be a 12.5 meter. Okay. What is apparent depth? 9.4 meter. Okay. So real depth by apparent depth will give the refractive index of the liquid. That's called water here. Okay. So now if you want to divide this to just multiple 10 on numerator, 10 on denominator, we'll get as a... Um, 125 divided by 94 so now you can do the division 194 divided by 94 125 94 okay 94 as a one time the next value just the subtraction of this two will do okay subtraction of this two what i can get see here one i'll get three here i'll get point zero okay 94 282 i'll get as a three times okay then again i'm doing the subtraction what i will get now 280 okay so it will go like that the next value also it's close to 3 only okay close to 3 only so we'll get as a 3 times so the unit is the uh, value will get 1.33 no unit okay next condition it is called refractive index of water it's called case 1 okay now they are using as a microscope okay case 2 no Actually, they asked how much the microscope should be moved for when the liquid is poured with the refractive index of 1.63. Okay, now the liquid refractive index 1.63. Okay. Now the same container which we are taken previously, same container I am taken. It's a water tank also. It's 12.5 uh, meter. Okay. Fully it is a water. Okay. Now the, we place replace the liquid with the refractive index of 1.66. Already I told you we use the micro, micro, uh, microscope to see this reading. Okay. That's called apparent depth that coin. Okay. Now I interchange the liquid. We, we use the different liquid. Okay. Now how much it will get uh, shifted? That's the question. Okay. Now see here what I'm going to do now. Real depth is same. Now apparent depth will be changed because of this refractive index. Before refractive index is 1.33. So apparent depth is going to be a 9.4. Okay. Now the apparent depth, the surface to the coin depth can be changed because of the higher refractive index. Okay. <coughs> now refractive index of A to liquid is equal to real depth by apparent depth okay now the changes only will be happened with apparent depth okay refractive index is 1.6563 which is already given okay now apparent depth if you want apparent depth is equal to refractive index of a to liquid divided by divided by uh, real depth okay uh, just like this you can do real depth will come here apparent depth will go here okay so just if you want apparent depth see here what i'm going to do uh, just to modify this equation uh, apparent depth is equal to real depth by refractive index very simple what is real depth which is going to be called 12.5 what is apparent depth 1.63 okay 
Now I am going to make it as a round number. Numerator and denominator, I am going to make it as a round number. So 100 you can multiple numerator, 100 you can multiple with denominator. Okay. So we will get 1250 divided by 163. Now we have to do this division to get the apparent depth. Okay. It is a normal division only. 1250 163. How many times now? The first thing is going to be get as a 7 times. Okay. So, 7 times of 163 will give us a 1141. Okay. Next. It is going to be subtraction of this two will give us a 1010. 0, 0, which is going to get as a uh, it's 974. Uh, we are going to get point zero. We included extra 0. Okay. This is going to get as a 6 times. Okay, again this subtraction will give 1120. One, okay, now 114 one, will be a 6, 7 times. So, 7.67 7 will be the answer. Apparent depth 7.67 7 is the answer. Okay, now we will come for the situation. So, already we know two situation. When we, the, we use the micrometer here, so microscope here. Okay, coin will be in this point. From the surface, it is 9.4. Okay. 9.4 it's a case one okay now case two no it's getting shifted okay it's getting shifted this is apparent depth the apparent depth, depth get decreases which is going to be called as a 7.67 for second condition 7.67 for the second condition i used here refractive index of liquid 1.63 here refractive index of the liquid 1.33 okay so this microscope no I have to shift with this much. This is called shift I should do. Okay. So 9.4 minus 7.67. That's called shift I should make it with the mic uh, microscope. Okay. So finally I will get as a 1.73 centimeter. I should move above the uh, above the place which where where the microscope is there. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you everyone.